Meghalaya leader of opposition Mukul Sangma has demanded an independent inquiry into the killing of former HNLC leader, late journalist Phil Thangkyo. In a big statement, Mukul Sangma questioned whether there is a criminal conspiracy behind the killing of the former HNLC leader and stated that the truth will be revealed only after a probe is conducted into the matter by an independent agency like the NIA or CBI. I take pride in the efficiency and competence of our Meghalaya police. I have no doubt about their efficiency and competence. Therefore, I also take pride in the intelligence gathering system that is there in the police organization. I know it, therefore I'm telling you. Yeah, if we have been able to have pinpoint accurate information in the past, we have demonstrated it. No? The police have demonstrated it. It is not something uh, which is based on my assumption or presumption. No, we know it. Meghalaya Police is one of the most competent organization in the country, amongst all the police organizations across this nation. I have taken pride on this. I have shared this in our internal security meeting convened by MHA on a number of occasions. And you have all the facts available when you connect the dots of incidents that has taken place in the past, you will have this inference as what I'm referring to. And therefore, <clears throat> now, if there was an input available that the deceased was in his own residence and the deceased was staying with his wife and two children, do you expect that the Meghalaya intelligence is so incompetent to know whether any member belonging to the uh, the organization, any cadre of the organization was there or not. I don't accept it. I'm telling you I don't accept it because of the high level of efficiency and competence of our intelligence gathering. That means we're not they using the right people or were they ignoring this input and where they're trying to shield themselves by referring to oh, there was a possibility of this, this, this. My dear friends, if you go by the circumstances leading to the uh, this unfortunate incident, which is captured and reflected in this report, you have all the conclusions for yourself. So therefore I'm saying, and I'm asking the people of the state to put this question before the government, was there criminal conspiracy? resulting in this unfortunate demise of this deceased. <coughs> and therefore, we need the answer. How will we get the answer? There has to be an independent inquiry based on this.